did. I did hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the button. She hit the button. Yeah. So anyway, so we are officially streaming. Whoa, that was loud. I'm sorry. Um. And now my chat works. The OBS. Okay. Anyway. So uh. So, I didn't realize that I did this last time. However, when I gave you guys the map, I gave you the unnumbered one. And in my opinion, that only works whenever you're playing in person. So here is the numbered map for where you guys are. <laughs> this is so better. So much better. It's much better for directions. But anyway, yeah, so escaping for your life, where are you headed? <laughs> What about a tree ant? What? I'm not sure I heard you correctly. What? No, I said we ended on, um, oh. Um, we had just looted the chest that was in the attic of the priest, priestess's, uh, place. Um, and then everyone just kind of left. Um, so yes. that's and where that we left off. Yes, and now you have a choice of where you're going to go. Because there's no further up. You're at the top of the tower you're in. Or out of the tower, anyways. Yeah, I think we were going towards one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because... Yeah. So just for reference sake, you guys started in 11, that's the pen you guys were in, then 10 was the armory, and now you guys are in 6 through 8 right now, which started with the, like, shrine, then, like, priestess's room, and then, uh, th her guard's room up above that. We're at 8 right now? Yeah. Six, okay. Uh, I think we were going towards 1, though. I think that was the way that we were going. No, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh... Yeah, I know, I'm just pulling up the map yeah, and making it myself now. <laughs> yeah, because that big, that big, like, what was it, like, rock noise or something going on. We're to our northeast, so we were going clockwise. Yes. So the demon's flying around. You know how that goes. There's a demon flying around. It's fine, we're buddies. There's there's oh, a I lot of demons flying around. flying around. If you didn't, <laughs> didn't notice that last night. <laughs> a lot of demons flying around. So, you guys are headed towards one, but did you want to stop at the other two places, or did you want to just take your chances and try and go through? Um, what are the other two places? I guess we wouldn't know unless we went through. Four and five on the map. Well, four and five are kind of connected, so it'd be four, five, or three. Oh, there's another pen. Another pen? I don't know. We can, we can just go that way and by, decide yeah. while we're there. <laughs> Either way. Well, I was asking because if you guys are going to try and sneak your way through, you need to make stealth checks. Otherwise, uh, you have to figure out what would you rather encounter, I guess. <laughs> you know what? I'd rather risk that stealth check. I'm, I'm, I I'm, 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 I'm wearing uh, disadvantage armor now. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess uh, what? Remember that conversation we had about me not initially having a sufficient background? Well, I chose one, and guess what that happens to be? A 
freaking bard. You say that like it's a bad thing. Yes. Mm. If we're stealthing, it means Vi is casting guidance on themselves, and then doing stuff. We I was can thinking stealth. like, hey, uh, Lyric, I have a serious question. I hopefully have a serious answer. Let me turn your volume up a little bit. You're kind of quiet. Ah, okay. Uh, I had to turn you down is, last uh, time. Now I have to turn you up. <laughs> oh no, my computer died, and now I'm having to rely on my uh, iPad. Okay, so how does inspiration work? The it's same that. as it always has. Are you asking because I find it hard to believe that you don't know how inspiration works. So I are you asking? I've never had to use it, so there's that. Oh, you're legitimately asking. Okay, uh, it's uh, pretty sure it's a one d four at this level. One d six at this level. Okay. It might be one d four at level one, but I would. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at level one it's one d four, and then at level three it's one d eight. I'm okay. pretty sure. Pretty I'm asking sure. because uh, bard background gives me bardic. I can give bardic inspiration, so you know with. I can inspire others through words or song. That's the fe the background feature for the bard background. It's literally just bardic uh, inspiration. At level one, bardic inspiration die is a d6. Oh, cool. Okay, then, then you can make the roll and I can just grant you bardic inspiration then, right? You can grant me bardic yeah. inspiration and then I can use it for the roll if I choose to. Okay, well then, we might be a little safer than if you have disadvantage. Because I, I, I can give myself a d4 and take your d6 plus my plus one of stealth. <laughs> and we're good! Alright, so if if you guys uh, collectively agree that you want to risk the stealth roll, then uh, go ahead and roll for stealth. Plus agree, I don't know about if you disagree, by all means, uh, pick your poison. <laughs> right, well, I'm stealthing. Well, the Ooh, 20. Six, six plus a d4 plus a d8. Or a d6 and a d4. Hey, 16! <laughs> Max rolled on both of those. <laughs> nice. Great, so... Uh, so, a total of 16 for stealth for the cleric. Alright, cool. So, their passive perception is a 12, so looks like so far everyone passes. Um, I need Elf to roll. Okay, so... That's only one off. I'm gonna consider that passed just because it's only one off and everyone else passed. <laughs> Stealth by association. Sneaky. We'll say some of that inspiration rubbed off. Okay, so um you guys are able to make it past the first tower here, four, um, past five past three and you're now in between four and two safely as you guys approach the bridge uh, there's a voice nearby that um, shouts at you and kind of asks for help it's a terrified terrified voice Nyx wants to see if she can see where this voice is coming from. Okay, you can try perception. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Ooh. We'll say it's the adrenaline. Okay. <laughs> it's also looking for wherever the sound is coming from. 
All right, you want to give it a shot? Oh, uh, we're thirteen. definitely four. blaming the adrenaline now. Yeah, my passive is a thirteen, but yeah, mine's thirteen. This isn't something that right. you could like immediately see, so. No one else gonna go for that? Well, if I can't see it right away, can I go towards the void? I mean, I'll try to. I'll try to roll for perception. I don't. I don't mind. Okay. Let me just. Honestly, at this point, if you're sticking to missiles. Uh, fourteen. Oh, well. Man, this is not starting off well. So, oh. <laughs> well. so technically you all failed, but um, for the sake of getting the ball rolling, the voice is off of the edge of the cliff nearby and down in the spider webs. Oh, lovely. It's a voice within the webs. Uh, no, it's just towards the webs, right? So... I could look over the side. Yep, I'm, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Which one of you has the rope? I do. That'd be me. Well, no, I mean, now you have rope, but one of you got rope as one of your starting items. I did. That was, that was <laughs> yeah, okay. That was, that was one of the things that you started with whenever you rolled your d20. That was to figure out what your starting item was. And I have, I have a rope. Objection. <laughs> so technically, you have 55 feet of rope because you got your adventure stuff back and you got your 5 feet of silken rope. Technically, I have more than that because there was 100 feet of silk rope in one of the things. Ooh, so it's 155 feet because doesn't an adventurer's pack come with 50 feet of hemp yep. and rope? Hemp, yep. Yep. And um, I have 50 feet as well. So we have plenty of 200 and... All right, Together. awesome. Yes. So, uh, the webs are definitely not that far down, <laughs> but that should be enough rope if you wanted to attempt to rescue this person. Uh, are they in the? They're actually in the webs. Yes, they are actually in the webs. Do. Do we know this person, or is it just a random person? It is not someone you have met so far. So, and I, I just see this person within the webs. Yeah? Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. And that person is uh, shouting for help. Uh, I take it burning the webs is probably not going to help get them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. No, there are instructions on what to do if someone falls through the webs and they're not pretty. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, n okay, so no pyromania this time. Sadness. Well, you throw the rope down, have them grab onto it, wrap it around themselves, and then burn them. We could throw it this down. This is unless fair. They're completely they stuck, stuck in the web. Are they stuck inside of the web? And, like, if possible, can I just try to cut bits of the web. How far down is the uh, person in the web from us again? Uh, you know, I haven't specified. I would very much like 28 to 28 feet down. Me? Ooh. it? Okay, but, and are they completely wrapped in the web, or can they still, like, move their arms and stuff? Uh, they are cocooned up to their neck. Alright, they're furrowing this. Oh. Okay, can I try, can I try to climb... Partially down the uh, partially down the rope and use because I they're partially down the rope and use one of my whips to get them up. Yeah, we could try that. I was saying, can I use uh one of my can I 
try to climb partially down one of the ropes and use one of my whips to help them get up. Yeah, to pull I said them yes, upwards. we can try that. <laughs> okay, I couldn't hear. Uh, which one is that? Athletics or a uh, acrobatics? Um, so we'll call that athletics because it's not aerial, right? So it wouldn't be acrobatics. And then uh, strength to see if you can use the whip to pull them up. So we'll start with the athletics to see if you can climb down. Unless you want to make just a regular dex check. Whichever modifier you have that's better, I guess. Nope! I'm sorry, but dex is my, my best one. I have, like, nothing in strength. <laughs> so All right. Let, let's, yeah, so, let, let's uh, go back to dexterity. Don't fail me, dex. Oh, that's a four. Yeah, I failed horribly. Okay, so since you failed both of those, um, so you kind of slip, and uh, you catch yourself, and then you try again, and slip again, um, and you landed in the webs, and um, actually, unfortunately, landed on top of the person that you were trying to rescue. Now the webs are visibly bowing where you guys are. Oh, goodness. Wait, but oh, he's fine. not stuck, so we have all this rope. We could literally just throw it down to him, right? He, like, it's just dangling right there. He can reach it, right? No, yes. I need somebody stronger to, like, reach that to somewhat get down here and I have whips you can catch to help me get up. And you guys got the orc killed. Um, you, uh... <laughs> or you hear could just me wrap out. yourself with the rope and then all of us that are up here can pull you up. That. But they said it's like 28 feet away. How much rope uh, we, we have, have to let down? We have almost 200 we... foot. Yeah. Okay. Well then that's acceptable. Uh, however... You know, I, I would have to make another strength check. To tie the rope around yourself? Uh, I don't... He's trying not to do sleight of hand. <laughs> Personally, but... Lyric? I don't... I don't... It's it's tying a knot. Who doesn't know how to tie a knot? <laughs> I mean, prob prob probably... You are in the, the army. army. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know there how to is tie a knot. Army. That's the character, man. not so much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, this, we're not metagaming here. <laughs> so I'm asking. I can tie, like, any type of knot, like, outside okay. of this character. Here, this is what I'm thinking. Your character is essentially a bard, right? Yes. I am pretty sure a bard would know how to tie some pretty secure knots. If you know <laughs> what I mean. I can agree to this. <laughs> All right, so it's tied around myself, and from here, I just, I guess I grab hold of the person that's up under my butt, which is a very weird thing to have to think about. So I'm just reaching up under myself, and I'm grabbing the other person, and I'm just hoping someone can pull us up. It's we all work together. Them and the rope, too. Yeah. Yeah. There's, There's a, a lot, lot of wheel grabbing. Fine, oh. okay. So I tie one knot around my waist, I have the excess of the rope, and I tie it around the person up under me's waist. Now both of us are hanging from the very- bo both of us are attached at the waist of this rope, and now we just I have do. to have our actual strong party members pull us up. <laughs> We're strong. all spellcasters, none strong. of us have strength. Strong? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, if we work together. We could probably do this. I don't know have, how. We have and a I'm group of NPCs with us too. So we, literally, we have a small army to pull these guys up. I don't think it's an issue. Hold on, let me check my uh, okay, my charisma modifier. Okay, I can use that bardic inspiration feature, uh, based on my charisma. So I get three more uses of that. Yeah. Per long rest. Yeah. Plus zero to my strength, just so you know. Same. But we got all this. Of you have, all of you have inspiration. I'm going to use my last three because if you fail, I die. So. I will use the inspiration. Um, do we. Is this going to be a strength check then? Yeah. Yeah. Because they're going to have to pull up two people and there's three of them. Uh, DM. Oh, Lyric, they, sorry. they answered for me. Anyway, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, sweet, I don't have to answer that, and then, yeah. <laughs> That's not what I was doing. So, a strength check for all of us with the inspiration here. Um, which is a d6, right? 
Yeah, so so what I'll do, since all of you are working together, is I'll count it as a help action, basically, and whoever rolls the highest is the one I'll take. Well, okay. Vashara currently has a 19, so... <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I have an 18, uh, but I haven't 21. rolled, Total. yeah, I haven't rolled the d6 yet. So, that's one. Yep, there that's you go, Nyx. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It'll be an 18 plus 6. 24. 24. Yeah, so, um, so actually, if you wanted, you could double that even. Oh, right, because it's like multiple people. Well, no, because Nick's got a six on a d6, and you do oh, right. We'll, like, we'll 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 say it's the adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> right, you get like back to the you. adrenaline. Full circle. <laughs> it makes sense. Like, people have lifted cars. Yeah, just moms flip cars and shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we can double it, and I can I can have, like, the 30. Yeah. Sounds good to me, right? Oh. Need you guys, I got this by myself. Pull them both up. <laughs> uh, so it takes- And we have Kurik. Oh, in the- <laughs> Um- <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a few minutes and uh, a little bit of struggle, but you get them both up, and uh, your uh, new acquaintance is still cocooned in spider webs. I have daggers. I'll go cut them out. There we go. And I'm just gonna go shake this nastiness off of me, cause I don't like this feeling at all. This does not feel very sing worthy. I will go cut our new companion out of their cozy little cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So the webs do have an AC, so you'll need to roll to hit. Oh, okay. Um, can I target the webs only with sacred flame and just burn them with radiant energy? And if that doesn't I, work, I, I can use just use both energy <laughs> energy <laughs> you, you know, I had to think about that for a second. If if you do... I'll give you a choice here. If you do a con save and it passes, or a medicine check and it passes, I will consider either one of those as you being able to avoid burning this person who is cocooned. I mean, I could also just beat them with you gravity. You said medicine or con? Yes. Okay. I'm giving you a choice so you can choose whichever is higher. I'm gonna... Oh, I can't cast guidance on myself if I'm casting sacred flame. <laughs> I am a cleric that is not too, though. medicine... What? I can give you inspiration too, though. If you would like. Hi, I'm a bard. Hello. I'm uh, giving yeah. you inspiration. <laughs> okay. Uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't burn our new friend alive. All right. So, okay, can, um, I, can I just beat them with wait. gravity? Just, just beat the person with gravity. And that one, that would be a four, would be what it would be total. Four plus five, nine. But. Yeah, so that's only one above the attempt to hit them. Oh, really? This web, because it's starting to eat, this web is irritating me. I think we're trying to cast it on the person in the cocoon. Oh, I thought we were trying to get rid of the webs outside of the... Yeah, uh, I'm trying not to burn them while... I mean, I could just give them blunt blunt force damage, you know, it's healable. 
well, as long as somebody else has any spell slots. So is, hey, I was about to say, so is, uh, so is radiant damage. It's only a D8. Hmm, that is a good question. Let me cut the web. You're, you're making this much more complicated than it should be. <laughs> I was just trying to, and I only did one day. Nope. Vi walks away. It didn't work. <laughs> Yay, that means it's Essence's turn. Can I just try to beat the, uh, just beat the guy inside of it? I'm pretty sure it's like, he's gonna be fine. Probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any spell slots left. I haven't used any of mine. Why don't you just keep, just cut it, like Nick said. It's, we're not trying to hurt the person underneath. I thought I could focus my energy a bit better, but I didn't. Be let's see, do I, because I didn't take anything resembling a dagger, if I recall. I mean, I have, I have a hand axe. I have a hand axe. Nyx has two daggers. Uh, yeah, Vi has a dagger as well. I only took things that can hurt people, so like, if I were to help in general, they're gonna get hurt. Nick. Listen. Yeah, no. Nyx is gonna try to cut the freaking Thank you. <laughs> cocoon open carefully, and you said I have to roll for that, right? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. Yeah, let's see if you can do that. Do I get I two rolls? Please tell me I get two rolls. <laughs> it's two daggers. Because you have, because <laughs> you have two daggers, or because you have two hands. Mm. I have a, I have two weapon fighting. All that right. is my actions in combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll let, you, I'll, 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 I'll let you roll twice. Oh my gosh, does a nine help? Does a nine get it? I you got you got a six and then a nine. Yep. Yeah, nice. What the heck? <laughs> you guys better start rolling good soon, or this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> We're all gonna die before we even get out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I refuse to die, at least not this early. Really, I've only used do you wanna, this do entire you, time. Do you want to roll a uh, strength check to see if you can get yourself out? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Hero. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind. Just a, uh, a straight strength. Yeah. <laughs> roll, a, roll an extra d4 of <laughs> well the NPCs that are with you can't help either <laughs> big crap listen uh, buddy we hero, tried, I, okay? I gave hero guidance <laughs> to do this so there's a d4 that hero can roll as well Break for you? Hey, you know what? It's the highest we've got so far. I'm just gonna take it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're able to get one arm out, and then that kind of starts a chain reaction, and eventually you're able to get your entire self free. How'd you get cocooned uh. in that bit? <laughs> Thank you, my newfound friend. You, uh, you loosened the web just enough for me to break free. I need to sharpen my daggers. That That's might help. Right? <laughs> that <laughs> might help. Normal yeah. weapons so, uh, against magical you... spider webs. Magical spider webs, you need a magical weapon to cut. <laughs> yeah, do you ask who we were? I believe he asked who I was. My name is Hero Shadows. That seems... Sus. Hero Shadows? Yes. Okay, Mr. Shadows, nice to meet you. My name is Nyx, she says, holding out her hand. 
He's a little pretentious. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll grab her hand and put, like, his other hand on top of it and, and shake it, like, really gently and, and say, uh, it's nice to meet you, too, dear. So, like, if you're a shadow, how can I see you? <laughs> Athens. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not a shadow. That's just my last name. I am, I am a human. Well, partially, I'm actually a Laneshi warrior. Ah. Uh, okay. Mm. Laneshi, Lane, whatever. No, I'm trying to remember <laughs> the name. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't even know what I was about that to is. say, I don't know how to pronounce that. It it says Laneshi. I'm a Laneshi warrior monk. So. Okay. Yeah, that's how I, that's how I would have said that as well. Um, yeah, just Laneshi. Like Genasi, not genocide, but yeah, you know. Yeah. It's not genocide. <laughs> 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 Genasi, it's just like it's drown. Yeah. It's drown. Gena Genasi, Genasi. I don't know the difference, and I you don't, don't care. I'm gonna. You don't row a boat. The English language is weird. Yeah, because it's also pronounced bow. So. Instead of bow. Yep. Plus it's prow. Okay, let's not get into the the, the, the corruption that is the English language in all anyway. of this fallacies. Mises. Mr. Shadows, how did you come to be uh, nearly spider food? Oh yeah, I was wondering about that. Roxas. Roxas, you're being spoken to. Here, hero, hello? Yes, I know. I was answering. We couldn't <laughs> hear hearing. a damn thing. Oh. Um. Da, 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 da. Well, I was once lost in the Underdark. I was, I was, you know, lo lost down here, and I managed to make a wrong step, and I fell off the cliff and into the spider web, where I've been for about four weeks. Oh, that he lost in the soccer. <laughs> Indeed I was. My only friend was the spider that I have on my shoulder. And you'll see he uh you all see a, a spider about the size of a tarantula uh crawl up my arm and sit on top of my shoulder. Yep, Nyx is going to get up and back up a bit. And Ethan does not like spiders, so he gets a finger gun ready and just points it at the spider just in case it blinks the wrong way. <laughs> it's okay. He's he's not harmful. He's yeah. he's harmless rather. He uh he wasn't my first choice as a companion, but down here there seems to be only spiders and demons. Yeah. So uh, I had to, okay. I had to make a friend somehow. And I mean, with a spider, you could have been friends with a demon. I mean, yeah, but a demon keep... might have decided to enslave him, and that's a whole uh, other topic that you really don't want to get involved in. I don't yes. care who you're yeah. friends with; just keep your familiar and all of his eight legs to himself, and then we have no problems. Fair enough. Fair enough. Are we all still casting? <laughs> yeah. We all have trust issues against spiders. I mean, let's be entirely fair. We've been imprisoned and tortured in the Underdark. Let's just hope we don't have to make any more strength checks. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but like more strength checks means I'm just going to go with the route of chaos. Right, well, now that we have freed our new friend here, um, I think maybe we should keep going. As for aforementioned flying demons ah uh, yeah so yeah let's let's get out of here i don't want to have to deal with flying demons they sound fun 
to sing about, but they don't sound fun to fight. <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> Let's move. Bizarre. Let's go. We keep moving in the direction that we're going. Yeah, so, uh, nothing else Fourth befalls morning. you. Like, nothing else bad happens. You guys are successfully able to leave. Nice, and whoever sent that gif can burn. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you said we were able to leave? Yes. Okay. Um, so, upon leaving, you have three different passageways. You have um, a north, a west, and a south. Not that you would know that it's northwest and south because you don't have any sense of direction at the moment, but for conversation purposes, they are that way. Cool. The left, center, right. Yes, basically. Trying to leave the Underdark? What, what? Or are we just trying to get away from the Drow at this point? I would assume both. I don't think any of us want to be in this. I mean, there there might be some hope for it. It just needs a makeover, is all. <laughs> well, I honestly would like to see the sun at least once again. Oh right, that does exist. <laughs> Speaking of, how many people have dark vision? <laughs> I think all of us, except for maybe you. Yep. <laughs> uh, maybe Kira. Well, I just broke right now. I have dark vision. <laughs> well, I have torches, I think, so if you need one. <laughs> no, I have torches too. It's just that kind of um, gets rid of the whole stealth option. Hey, well, we're out now. Minus, I don't know what's else out here other than, you know, caves. Okay, well, uh, caves, we need to make a choice. Um, I'm going to... I'd like to, like, peer down each one to see if I can, like, either see or pick up on anything going down that way, sense-wise, like... You know, if there's any airflow coming out of them, or, you know. Does okay. that make sense? Uh, it ah, it yes. does, Smart. it does in fact make sense, but everything is eerily still, and it's shockingly quiet. The only noise that you hear is the waterfall behind you and all of the chaos that's going on with the demons and all of that that have broken into the outpost, reminding you the urgency of making a decision. <laughs> All right, so we either have to choose caves or more spooky random shit. Okay. Uh, well, Mind you that you caves. have eight people with you. Yes, I was about to say, Vi was going to say to one of the people who is from un from here, like like Topsy Turvy, one of the ones that... They all are. Actually, like, from the Underdark? They um, all are from the Underdark. The ones that weren't died. The ones that weren't. <laughs> and I still speak under common, so can I ask them, uh, which, do they un know where we are right now? Vishara was going to ask a question that I didn't get to hear. That's what I was, I was gonna ask the same thing, it was like, hey, does anybody know which way we should go? Ah. In under common. Oh, you know under common too. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us know under common. Awesome. Um. What's the role on that? Like, when you ask people, like, do they know the way, is that a perception or a persuasion? Or is it just a question? It's just yes. a question. Yes. Okay. I thought it was a role to ask the question to get an answer, so I Their survival is based on this, too, so I wouldn't see why we'd have to persuade them to tell us which way to go. 
Because aren't some of them, like, kind of stupid? So, Sarith and Shushar and Topsy and Turvy look like your best bet. They, out of the group of eight of them, they seem, those four seem fairly confident. There we go. We could ask Shushar then. I don't remember which one he is, but... Shushar is the Koatoa. Oh, right. We can ask the- we can ask the- the, the toad dude. I see him now. The awakened. The- the stoner dude. Oh yeah, the one with all of his great and powerful magic. Yes. Alright, well then, I guess... It just comes down to which one are you asking? Koatoa help you if you want. Nice people. I was like, that's our answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know who to ask, but I know them all. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's um. All right. Is, well, is the, the stoner is Koatoa. Jerris didn't come with us. Um, that's fine. Nyx will go ask Tushar, then, I guess, which way he thinks we should go. Alright, and, um, so, Tushar's just kind of shrug. Well, man, like, really want to go back home. Need my people to feel this enlightenment, you know? Gotta, gotta share. I love this personality. Share the, share the, like, okay. So if you wanted to go back to, to your home, we can start there. Which way would you go? Well, if we go this way, and he points... Then, uh, could go past Dark Lake, and we'll end up in Sleep Wadop, eventually. I guess eventually. Hmm, depends how fast you can walk. It's like, look at the rest of the group, and they're like, best bet? Um, uh, top scene to review. Where do where do you guys want to go? <laughs> Topsy translates, uh, Blingdenstone, and at this, Eldith jumps up. Yes, yes, please. And. Which direction is that? They all three just kind of look at each other. Mm. <laughs> okay, uh... Out of curiosity. So, survival rolls, maybe? To get a direction? Because <laughs> it doesn't look like they got any answers for us. Because I would just vote for running into the caves and blowing through whatever's in there. Well, I mean, you could roll a d3 if you want. I mean, that'd be kind of the same as rolling for survival. It's just that would actually give you a direction. Yep. Which, can I just roll for survival then, since... Our only sources, like, kind of have no clue where they are. Well, Shushar was pretty serious. He was like, well, we'll end up that way. I could take you past Dark Lake. That's basically what he was saying. Which, yeah. okay, I, I was missing that part. Uh, 
so we just follow the direction Shushar gave us. Uh, can we ask Shushar where's which direction is Dark Lake? He just, would take us that way. He, yeah, I was gonna say you're saying group. that like you're gonna leave him behind. What? <laughs> I wouldn't leave the magical frog man. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you remain useful. The fish frog. <laughs> All uh -huh. right, Mr. Fish yeah. Frog, Pineapple Stoner. Pineapple Stoner. <laughs> he's the, if the if he's the only one that knows where he's going, that might be our best bet. Okay, then I'll just get behind him and be ready to cast whatever I need to cast. Um. So that's that's literally all we can do. Curse the fact that we have all mages. <laughs> Oh, okay. Then we have somebody that can do something. You're fast, right? Um, uh, not really. Oh. <laughs> so we have a cleric, right? Get behind. I was gonna ask the cleric, can you pray for us? I feel like we need it. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, we're we're gonna need that. But yes, uh, yeah, fish frog stoner. Sarah said he wouldn't escape with us because he deserves his sentence, so he didn't come with. He told us how to get out and then stayed in the cell. Ah. You know. What he said. You know that's if a good point. Here, but he's supposed to be with you, so. <laughs> But he changed his mind at the end. <laughs> yeah, because I like, would have asked Sarah. I would if he assume, was here, I would have asked him. I would assume that he'd like go back to his cell, see all the demons, and be like, screw that, and then just come after us. Well, it sounds like he wasn't too keen on accepting <laughs> his fate, uh, depending on what the fate was. So, yes, Fish Frog, Stoner, he leads the way. We're behind him. Uh, do do uh, we... Hold on, hold on. I'm... I was going off of the information that Sareth wasn't here, but if he is here, I would have talked to Sareth because we had already talked before. He was. He Sareth is, is a draw, right? Yeah, yeah. He is supposed to be with you. He was supposed to catch up to you guys, but I think I may have forgotten to do that and assumed he was already with you. Assume okay. that he is with us now. I mean, for for the sake of just not having to, like, retcon anything, we can say he's with you. Or I can make him catch up to you guys after however long. Oh, that's fine. He can, he can be with us. That would make things easier. I planned around him not being here, so that would... If he's here, then I uh, will ask him. Yes, you do that, uh, elf grandfather. <laughs> he's not... <laughs> Sorry, I think it's funny when you call him grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> call them grandpa. Funny. Grandparents. Yes. Um, yeah, so so sure. if you Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Um what is the best way to get out of here? You've worked here, I'm assuming, so you know the routes around here pretty quickly, and I'm assuming since you all uh, decided to come with us, you had a uh, change in heart about uh, your fate? I've no desire to die to demons today. That's the story. Man. So, what is the best way out of here? Well, in my opinion, we should probably head for Neverlight Grove. This one, and he gestures to Stool, uh, says that his people will offer us sanctuary if we return him. That seems the most neutral location that I know of. Oh, and sanctuary. Do you know where that is? I can lead you there easily. Wonderful. Sanctuary seems better than um, a lake. And that's risky. Better than impending death. Also, out of all eight of them, he has the highest passive perception, so there you go. 
oh well thank you for making that decision for us because you know that that's a it's a good way to go about it I will trust in the psychic frog ears that you have This is a drow. Make hear something then I'll tell you. Okay. I'm gonna mess with your ears. Oh dang. Secret. Anyways. Are we following Cyrus? Yeah, so I'm gonna follow Cyrus. Yeah, let's go do that. Spider Man knows where we're going. Nyx is just gonna kind of, she kind of laughs to herself. <laughs> All right, following, we're following Cyrus. All right. Hmm. We're going on an adventure. We're going on a trip. Uh, so that'll take 36 days. So can I just, like, start playing my flute and just skipping along while we're walking? Days. You really want to do that? Yes. No. Please don't. Fine, I won't. I forgot we're on the run. <laughs> Gonna turn this place musical, whether it's the, whether I die or if I don't. They will have songs in this gloomy ass place. So we are following. Yeah. Um. So, yes, but this is going to take 36 days, so, like, you may as well converse among yourselves for right now. <laughs> oh. Well, in that case, uh, you said this is going to take 36 days and we're just conversing amongst ourselves. Can I start, uh, do I see any mushrooms around? You can roll for survival for that. Uh, awesome. Well, there is the mushroom person. I meant, you know, <laughs> I, I, I meant, you know, a non-sentient one. Leave Stu alone. He's really scared. Hey, I was just hey, joking. listen. I was just a joking. nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the the voice I hear every time. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could try listen, to bite the mushroom just... person. Bite the mushroom person. Missing a closing. Okay. Oh, that's why. Cause it's yeah. Okay. I rolled a nine. I take it I find no mushrooms. Can I ask the mushroom person to locate mushrooms? Dash Delta just does not want to work for me right now. Anyway, um, doesn't that kind of seem like cannibalism? Like, aren't you the person that was like... <laughs> he said it's not the same. So therefore, I'm gonna go with it. I mean, guys, you are forgetting we do have a druid among us. She All says, right. Cardalus. All right. Could you, like, could you find possibly, like, either psychedelic or semi-poisonous mushrooms. Why? I have a feeling I'm gonna need to, like, be resistant to things, and the best way I know how is by poisoning myself. So mushrooms are delicious. I'm I'm sorry, Colonelist, Colonelist, Colonelin. Wait, what was your name again? 
I forget how to pronounce it. Kernelis. Carney. Kernelis. Effen is really excited about a lot of things, um, but he does have a point. Actually, I don't know why he wants poisonous or psychedelic mushrooms, but... Because you get edible ones so we can survive. <laughs> you can tell him no. <coughs> but if you could find edible ones, ones that won't kill us or trip balls... But if we do trip balls, I can make it fun. We do. We should each have food for ten days. We should have that food for ten days. Our, our equipment. But after that, then we're gonna have to start looking. And it's gonna take thirty-six. So I'd rather you know chop down on things that are probably gonna help me a little later. So, you know, is eating possibly poisonous mushrooms stupid? Yes, but is having a resistance to possible poison and diseases while in the underdark beneficial? Also, yes. I would rather not eat poisonous mushrooms. Yes. I'm sorry, I, I agree with Ben. It's then you don't have to. I want to. Poisoning ourselves and poisoning yourself on purpose seems like a very bad idea when we can be attacked or a and potentially killed at any moment. Look, I know we can be attacked at any moment. However, I also have to think in the long game. Do do any of us have poison resistance? No, I don't. Anyways, I don't either. How do you build poison yeah, resistance? Yeah. Um. So if I'm you're not gonna try and find mushrooms, I need a survival roll. And I failed mine, which is why I'm asking the druid for assistance. Good for druid, yeah. Yes, they chose it. Our druid is Carney, right? Yes. So can Carney roll for survival? They are. Survival would be anything. good for, for them because druids are use wisdom as their spell casting and survival is a wisdom base. Oh no wonder I'm so bad at it. I have like nothing in wisdom. But I'm also not wise at all. I'm just here for fun. Possibly for shits and giggles, but it bears. We'll assist Carney. Ooh, 16. That's good on its own. And what, okay, assisting is the help action, right? Yes. Alright, so you guys find Trillamac. So with that, so with that, so, so with that, we should be able to find mushrooms. Yes. You found Trillamac. Trillamac. Um, what's... Session. Look in the session. Okay. Six, six Doing that now. Edible. Mushroom that grows... Oh, it's about the it's, it's about the size of a small halfling. It's about the size of me at five foot three. Ooh. Nix is a toy. The capsule of their surface can be cut and cleaned for use in mat making hats. Stalking the clean, soaked in water, then dried to make a political food akin to bread. These trailer max stock has 1d6 plus 4 pounds of food. Ooh! What's 1d6? Let's see. Well, I'm gonna roll the d6. Lyric has already rolled it. Oh, I don't see the roll. It's right underneath of that. Okay, now I see it. Apologies, I'm having to like pay attention to like several screens at once. And how far does six pounds of food go? For... Um, how does your ratio? Uh, okay, so what does your ratio feature say according to uh your survival or food? 
because I know some racers can survive a lot longer without certain amounts of food. I'm just a human with two with two brains with two souls, like. Mine says nothing about anything about food. I believe it's like usually one ration or like one thing per one day. One ration per day, yeah. It's it's one ration per day, but also rations themselves weigh two pounds. It looks like so. But we don't use income income. I, yes, I understand. I understand that. I'm just more meaning if it's if you eat two pounds of food a day, there's. A total of six pounds for the one, two, three, four, five, plus eight. There's eight people with us? Eight others. So there's 13. We That's only half a pound of food for each of us. That's not even a quarter of enough food for each of us for a day. Well, mm. you are right outside of a city, and you Ooh, do city each have, tea. and you do have, well, the outpost counts as a city because of the number of things that are there, but, I mean, they live there, so they would be harvesting these mushrooms. You guys are, like, plucking them within that vicinity. Also, you currently, like you said, have ten days worth of food. Yes. Are we at the outpost? Are we, you're counting the outpost, not... Not, like, or are we at a different the, city? The, I'm counting the outpost as a city, whenever I talk okay. about it. it's I'm referring to it as a city. And you're in the vicinity around it, because you guys literally just escaped. Right. So I'm not, yeah, no, I'm not too worried about food right now, as as you pointed out, we do have 10 days worth of rations, so I am sure the further along we go, maybe the more of these that we can find anyways, so. Mushrooms. All right, so I, I I have no clue what else we do outside of like this is just travel time. I mean, outside of possibly rest, I don't know what else we'd be doing right now. Well, you're... I'm assuming we're gonna get a few long rests in this journey. Well, with the lack of spell slots and other things that some of us have, uh. Can we roll to see if it's safe to rest now? Or are we walking on the road now? We should keep walking until we have a reason to get some to like a fairly distance. Okay, yeah, and are we rolling for perception uh, every few minutes to see if we run into anything or no? No, that's not necessary. At least for now. I At expected now. more talking, to be honest. Like, you guys all just escaped certain death. Right, <laughs> we get that. I know. We but survive and continue moving so we don't get caught. <laughs> we can talk while we're going, I guess. See, I wanted to just start playing a flute and skipping. However, I can't do that, so instead I'm going to mess with the Grand Fae. Speaking of the Grand Fae, Ooh, I like that. I do, too. I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> Than Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. uh, did we go over... How you came to be in the Underdark? Me? No, bye. No. No, I am... Um, no. I was... I was in the woods, um, I don't know where we are now, but I was in the woods, uh... Kind of doing my meditations that I, I do, um, every couple days just to reconnect with my myself and uh, I was ambushed I was caught off guard in the middle of a meditation and brought down there I was there for about eight days before we escaped um, I've been in this 
this realm for a little over a year. Trying to figure out how to live as a mortal. Well, that can't be too hard, is it? You just eat and hope you don't die, right? That's mm -hmm. the experience. <laughs> Having to eat. <coughs> I used to don't eat forget time. beer! Oh, yeah, and there's drinking and other activities. Oh, I very much enjoy the other activities. Anyway, um... Nothing can be to fa a favorite as well. Nothing here, at least. I'm glad you understand this. My people are famous for their brews, be it tea or beer. I'm gonna show you what being mortal is. Oh no, I meant liquor from the Feywild. It's, it's significantly stronger than anything you mortals can handle usually. So I take that as a challenge. Yeah, I took that as an insult to my people who I literally have a feat called I literally have a class feature called T Expert. So, you know, he's gonna show you, you know, the difference between, you know, Feywild and like mortal. We have shorter lives, so we tend to have, you know, more time to do greater things because we don't have a limitless amount of time. Yes. <sighs> Now Effin is determined to get him some some tea made by the parrot. I don't understand time like you guys do. It's not really something that um, I obsess with or really feel the need to rush around with because time is... a soup. We soup go through it without... Time is soup? Oh, it's real easy to understand. So, you wake up, and then you're young, and then you open your eyes the next day, and then you're old. Yourself, I'm gonna live forever. Well, not really. Unless you're, uh, unless you're one of those. I could. Nah, maybe not. Um. Soup is good. I like soup. Um, it's not actual physical soup, it's a metaphor. Um. Oh, it's a broth, then. It's a metaphor. It's not a. It's a, it's a metaphor. Do you know what a metaphor mm. is? Uh, ah, I'm, yes. I'm comparing. I'm comparing it to soup because it's it's flexible. It, it it's, it's a liquid. I can control the time in my or in my old domain. I can control whether it was <laughs> night or day or um, whether or not uh, time even passed. Your domain of delight, she says, with a bit of a smirk. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll leave that one down. <laughs> domain of delight without tea. I tea. Oh, I, I, I had tea. I like tea. Oh. I like tea Was too. It good tea. Very good tea. Well, it was it was decent tea, but I haven't tried yours, so challenge accepted. I can go for some tea. Good, then it's decided. Tea and flutes. The moment we get back into the uh, city. And if you can't play a flute, then just be quiet and I'll play one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can play more than just a flute. Thank you very much. I would love to see ah, that. A fellow flute player. I also see. can play a lute. And a liar. Well, I can. They're, they're different. They're different. They are different. I can, however, I do. I can play a pain flute. I mean, like my my character the can play any instrument. Much so there's player, that no. too. Ah, satyrs, so fun, mm. until they start drinking and smoking, and then oh. you wake up, and then you find out that they took your pants. Need pants for. Speaking of which, where are they? They still owe me. I had like three gold coins in those pants. 
he died. Well, I know we haven't we haven't really heard much from the druid family besides uh, giving us uh, food uh, here and there. Why are you here? What is what what befell you to be a prisoner here? Who me? Oh, I'm s I'm ah, speaking. Okay. I'm speaking to Carney, the the druid. Ah, ah, the druid. I ah, just yes. found out he's wonderfully um dry um mushroom. Um, you all were captured. Captured, I just wondered what you were in the process of doing when you were. That is all. Um. Hmm. Okay, this Good is, monk, uh. Yeah. But, Monk, how did you get lost down here? What were you looking for that led you the darkness that this that is this cave I had lost my spider he's yeah. been with me through a lot and he uh, he ended up running off and I followed him into the cave Unfortunately, by the time I found him, I ended up getting myself stuck as well. You're telling me you almost died because your spider wanted to go hang out in a giant web? Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> so, uh, if it's just yeah, gonna... Yeah, Carney has a the point table. there. Mr. Shadows, uh, you said that there were only spiders down here, which would mean that which would imply you found it there. So, no, no. You see, I had my spider at my temple. He's been with me ever since I was a small boy. You know, leaving the fact that your spider obviously wanted to go hang out in a web, you know, which, you know, this, the entirety of the Underdark is, you know, just, just, does he run off often? He's been known to. Uh... I I foresee problems with that. <laughs> Do you have like a spider leash or something? That would be kind of cute actually. Like I'm pretty sure like one can be made possibly. You just need the right amount of I guess like strong enough silk or like maybe just like twigs or plant threads. Because if he has a if, he, if he's a flight risk, I'm not chasing after him. <laughs> no, no, he won't be a flight risk. Now that I found him again, I, 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 I will make sure he stays with me. Uh huh. We'll see. But appreciate As I say. if you did keep him on a leash. Yeah, or at least some type of magical bubble. 
Where you'd find one of those, I have no clue. But they they might exist. This is totally out of character. Are, are, <laughs> well, what on earth would you carry a, a spider around anyway? Is there like any form of like magical cage or orb or something like that they'd just be floating around in? Good question. Out of character, originally I wanted a turtle, but I was given a spider, so <laughs> it was supposed to be a turtle. A turtle in the Underdark would have made a great soup. <laughs> <laughs> Spiders would have got ignored. It was a good choice to be a spider. Yes. Turtles are food here, I can feel it. Spiders are normal. So, you know, at least he can be a little spy. As long as he stays on the right side. So, Spider, all right. Ha-ha! <laughs> I fixed it, guys. Nice. What did we fix? I fixed the bot that wasn't working before. Okay. I was really confused on what that was about for a second, so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really weird oh. to all of a sudden have an encounter right outside the city, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, you are a dungeon master. Point. I mean, fair, but it I try would, to make it, it make sense happen. when I can. Looks hurt in the room I think in your head. Yeah, you just see her shrug. <laughs> but, uh, so we have a monk with a spider. Like, is it just a regular spider? Yeah, it's just a spider the yeah. size of a tarantula. It's a big spider. It's even on his character mm -hmm. sheet. Oh, oh, uh, so the spider is official. Yeah. Mm. Always kind of wanted a pet, like a fairy dragon. That would be fun. Then fairy we have our... Here. <laughs> We have well, our meant to be awesome a turtle. Arts. That's all I'm saying. Meant to be a turtle. Fair enough. <laughs> so we have our awesome art tiefling druid. tiefling. Which is Carney. Yep. And then our tiefling bard, Nyx. And then our grand fay, cleric. Once a grand fay. Potato, tomato, grand <laughs> Well, uh. you're the grand face solely because you're old, not because you're, you know, grand. I think you know that they're pretty grand. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see. His opinion on the T is it, it will be the deciding factor on that. Yes, I am very old. Thank you. I would ask, but I don't know if you know the answer. Um, I lost count after a thousand. We are oh, really old. very old. <laughs> Oh my! Um, I but thought I was. I thought I was old. And how <laughs> old are you? I'm in my eighties. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I needed this. A mutant Roshi. A mutant Roshi? Yes, I needed a turtle hermit. <laughs> we well, now have an old man monk. My life is complete. That's why I wanted to play a monk. 
figured you were going for an old person, but you know. <laughs> nope. I literally wanted to be Master Roshi. Yes, <laughs> I approve. I love it. <laughs> but okay, how long have we been walking for? Because I'm running out of things to talk about, and I can't sing and skip at the same time. So I need entertainment. It's been I eight can? four years. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so uh you guys uh you come across an underground stream ah water i can bathe wait 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 i'm gonna use the class feature it, uh, do I detect anything poisonous about it? <laughs> <laughs> um. I didn't prepare. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't prepare that spell because I wasn't expecting to have to use it. I have tea expert. Tea expert allows me to decide the aroma in food or drink and determine if it's poison or not. So I just want to sniff the water to see if it's poisonous or not. Okay, so let me describe the surroundings first. So this is a waterway that is 10 feet wide that cuts across your path. It's shallow and easily crossed. Um, edible fish can be seen in the water and you can see them quite clearly. Um, and it is moving water, and it does look fairly clear, so it would probably be fairly safe to drink. Would probably be fairly safe. That's not a guarantee. So I'm gonna sniff the water anyway. <laughs> it's the only way I know how. Sniffing water. Anyone have a net? <laughs> a net? Uh, no, I have a whip with the blade on the end. Thank you, thank you. I stole it from the drow. That's actually not surprising. We just glance over at our own fellow drow. <laughs> so he's not angry about it. I forget his name. But uh, let's right. see. but uh, do I sniff anything out of order, or is everything all right in the world? No, uh, every the water's clean. Everything feels right in the world. Yes. Or as much as I can in the moment, anyhow. <laughs> can I start trying to catch fish with the blade whip? Uh, you can attempt to not obliterate the fish on contact with your blade whip. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our monk's pretty fast, but he could catch him with his spare hands. All right. Uh, hey. Yeah, uh, him with a dart. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I also have a blowgun and blowgun needles. Do those count? You want to... Uh, that would... The that water's moving. <laughs> I know the water's moving. I want to see if I can shoot one while it's moving. Right. If you shoot a fish and it dies under moving water, it's gone. But it, but we just were told it's shallow. <laughs> it's, it's moving water. It's not so shallow that the fish can't swim, though. All oh, right, so I can't just kill them all. Mm -hmm. I mean, I Why? can't just boil the water. Gestures towards monk. Catch fish. <laughs> Fast person. Oh yeah, you could do that. And if that doesn't work, I'll just boil the water and bake them all. Okay, while well, you guys talk about how you're going to catch fish, I will be right back. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Is the monk going to catch it with his hands, or am I going to just boil the water and we're going to have uh, braised fish? Tell you what, let him 
catch the fish with his hands, and then we can get some collect some water, and you can boil it to make sure that it's safe to drink, and then we can collect water. But she just said it's entirely safe to drink. It never hurts to. It never hurts to boil. Yes, redundancies. Ah, okay. That might be a smart idea. Though. I like Nix. Nix is smart. Thanks. I try to be. <laughs> and I'm just going to like try to use the most straightforward thing possible. I'm like, I have fire. There are fish here. Fish are underwater. We can cook them all. Actually, I don't know if Nix would even know that my wisdom is actually a 13. My intelligence is a 15, so. That, that's pretty smart in comparison to me. All charisma, baby. Yeah, all no, my charisma. All wisdom, is baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, my charisma is a 19, so try to beat that, Mr. Fake. I do have a 19. Oh, you have a 19 too? <laughs> I do. Oh, look at that. I did not roll very good at all. I have a 19 in uh, Charisma, and I have a 14 in Con. And, like, my, my, my weakness is my Wisdom at a 10. I basically rolled Standard Array, um, but I re-rolled the, the, the lowest and got 12 with it, so... I have 114, 112, two 11s, and a 10. I literally have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Of course, some of that was the wow. like three elevens, <laughs> <I know. laughs> three elevens, a twelve, a fourteen, and a seventeen. I only have two elevens. I would have loved three elevens. But no, that's what I was saying. Like I basically rolled standard array because my my lowest was like a seven, and I re-rolled that. Um, but then like the other ones were pretty close to basically standard array. I actually rolled a seventeen for bring charisma, but then I got a plus two to it, so. Question: What do you, what does the monk roll to catch the fish with his bare hands? Is that like sleight of hand, athletics, or acrobatics? I wouldn't assume sleight of hand, but might be sleight of hand or just a straight up dex. Or it might be an attack, uh, an armed attack. But like, I thought we're not trying to obliterate the fish. <laughs> Saying like All a straight up dex, maybe, but. Maybe. Dex I might be our best bet. Acrobatics? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't no, consider. Like, I wouldn't consider sleight of hand, just because that's more like when you're trying to pickpocket or, you know, do something sneaky. So and athletics, though, possibly. Maybe, but uh, athletics is strength based, and you be your dex based, aren't you? Uh, yeah. So that would be acrobatics for acrobatics. you. Acrobatics. More than likely. Roll it. But that's not Aaron. Well, well think... Lyric has to tell us that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And she's not back yet. Oh, yeah. She just said, if we can find, if if we can find herbs for uh, healing potions, I can start making them. That's a survival check, and I can. I have a brew. I have brewer supplies with me so that I can always make tea, so I can actually brew uh, whatever herbs she finds so that you can make medicine. Yeah, a uh, variety of instruments such as clippers, mortar and pestle, pouches, vials, used by herbalists to create remedies <laughs> and potions. I what? have a forgery kit. <laughs> oh yeah, you can help us lie. <laughs> no, just, yeah, I, I, I don't know how I'm building this character because, you know, she also took the poisoned wine stuff, so... It's all right. Theory. Just let your character be true to yourself. In my case, uh, I think I'm gonna try uh, this. Okay, so I was talking to the DM earlier about it, cause um, I do want to multi-class this character at some point, cause there's an artificer uh, subclass I really want to test out, and it is called the composer. Yes, it's also music. And uh, the composer basically gets uh, a conductor's uh, instrument that's basically like a wand that does thunder damage, or like there's a variant to it that does blunt force damage. Is Artificer also considered a spellcaster? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I don't know. I'd like to try Artificer sometime. I don't. I don't like melee. I. I just. 
I love melee, but I also like being able to just make things go Blade boom. Singer. I'll Blade be Singer. honest, I almost made I almost made a barbarian. <laughs> I mean, oh, like, I, I, I thought about one of my favorite combos, because one of my favorite combos, as far as spellcasters is concerned, uh, Blade Singer Armor Artificer. Hmm. The Thunder Gauntlets on the armor count as simple melee weapons. You can Blade Sing with simple melee weapons. Yeah. Artificial Blade Singer combo. Yeah, I did it in one a one shot, and it was so fun. I was just running around like punching people and uh, giving them disadvantage because like you, when you cast booming blade or like a green flame blade through you know a simple melee weapon like the thunder gauntlet, it takes the regular damage of the melee weapon and then suffers the spells attacks. The thunder gauntlets only have one specific purpose: cause thunder damage and disadvantage outside of the spells damage. Uh, actually, I do have I play. Um, I do have a session that we have an artificer that has thunder gauntlets and he uses them all the time. So. Exactly. And then if you combine it with Blade Singer, you're basically singing with your fist while running around and causing mayhem. It's glorious. He, he's a a warforge. I can't remember how exactly he built his... He basically made himself a glass cannon. Sort of. I don't actually understand what a glass cannon is. Could you elaborate on that, please? They hit hard, but they also can't take much damage. Yeah. Ah. So, like a glass cannon, if you could imagine, like an, a, a real life cannon made of glass, it fires once, hits really hard, and then shatters. Okay. Because it, the force of the blast, like, it destroys it. That's why. That's why it's a glass cannon. Because it'll hit you real hard, but it won't take very much beating. Oh, that's not fun at I mean, all. If you're gonna get into does, a fight, you need to be able to take a hit. Well, he, he does have a pretty high AC, but that's just how because I mean, but he's a warforge, so he naturally has like an AC of twenty. So that fixes a lot of that issue on its own. Yeah. So he basically sits in the middle of our when we have combat stuff. He basically sits in the middle and takes all the hits while smacking with smacking him with his thunder gauntlets and healing everybody. <laughs> See, I'm planning on just, like, because I I, I, I actually had this uh, subclass commissioned. So, uh, it's got lots of fun things I, I'm very excited to test out eventually. Uh, specifically involving, like, so we had to tweak this thing because, uh, since Lyric does not use, uh, spellcasting components, it would have been far too OP because Lyric does not use spellcasting components. Because, like, one of the, one of the higher level, eight, the 18th level features is uh, the ability to, uh, you know, not have to use spellcasting components to ver yeah. uh, and only using the vocal. As long as you use vocal, you can ignore anything else as long as you're playing music or singing. Which... You know, if we're not using spellcasting components, it's, you know, you, it basically says you can't be stopped, you know, using vocal components. But if we were using spellcasting components, that wouldn't be a problem. But if you're immune to, you know, having your spells being stopped, if you're not using spellcasting components, you see where that becomes a problem? No, um, because uh, as a DM, I also don't use spellcasting components. Uh, I just think like lyric, like it's just a lot to keep track of. However, when it comes to the spell revivify, I'm still trying to figure out how to do that one because I feel like it should cost something. Like I don't. It costs a diamond just... worth of 100 gold pieces. Right. If you're using if you're using components. Ah. Uh, and okay, I'm trying to figure sense. out if you're not using components and somebody wants to cast revivify. Yeah, we could just do it that. I could, so I could just do it that way. I'm just trying to figure it out, and I thought it was like, well, maybe it just uses more spell slots. Maybe it just uses more than just one spell slot. But I don't know. I'll figure it out. I agree. When is the game? Are we playing tomorrow? Sun Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, I changed it to Sunday because it was going to work better for me for my schedule, and then because I didn't like playing at 10 p.m. my time. 
just so that everyone can join. So then I changed it to Sunday at 7 because most people could play anyway. Um, that eliminated one person, but they were also kind of a problem player. I still have one problem player. Um, What's a problem player? Like, are they just like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> this person <laughs> likes to just... He loves to play rogues, and when he plays rogues, he thinks that he can just roll stealth no matter what. And then he's immediately stealth, and that's not how it works. I'm back. Um, welcome back. I think Hello. we've decided. I think we've decided that the monk is trying to going to 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 try to catch fish. Uh, we were trying to decide what uh, they would have to roll for that, though. And then we got completely off track. <laughs> and then we got completely yes. off track. <laughs> yes, ADHD at its finest. However, you know the grand spider can do it. This is how we're re referring to you two: grand spider and grand fay. <laughs> okay, so we have one that's thousands of years old and one that's eighty-four and actually looks his age. <laughs> yep. I don't look like my age because I've only been in this body for a year. <laughs> so how's walking and eating feel working for you? How, how, how's that like? I've been doing it all my life, but how is it adjusting to having to eat and sleep? Oh uh, yeah. Sleeping is, is very weird, to say the least. But, uh, um, eating, I, I ate. I didn't have to, but I did, because festivities and things of that nature. So eating for substance to breathe is, is weird. Oh, right. Real weird. Lungs. I keep forgetting I have those. Oh, no, we have them, too. Like, we can breathe and, like, smell things and things of that nature, but we don't have to. We can just turn it off. You can turn off. You were able to turn off your breathing. Yeah. And then just you just see F and curse up under his breath, say "lucky bastards." <laughs> what would the monk have to roll to catch fish? Uh, we're deciding if it was acrobatics or a dex check. Yeah, just a straight up dex check. Um, survival. Unless, of course, you're gonna do, like, some weird trick or whatever. Wait, catching fish is survival still, too? Yeah. Oh! I, I, I never thought about that. See that? Yeah. I, can see, I can see that. Yeah, it's a it, life yeah, skill. Yeah, it literally, it literally says... To check to follow tracks, hunt wild game, guide your group to frozen wastelands, identify signs of owl bears, predict the weather, avoid pushing, and other things like that. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Technically, catching wild fish is wild game, so. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're foraging wolves. Logic. It's logic. Survival is. They're foraging wolves, too. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's, what, page 215? <laughs> you have it memorized. Why do you know this? <laughs> you are a level above me. I do not have that <laughs> memorized. I only have some you know, memorized. I have a lot of spells memorized. I have a lot of spells memorized. See, that's what I lack. I don't have any spells memorized, but the rules that I use all the time, I have memorized, and I know where to find them. I don't. Really? I don't memorize anything unless it's something that you know I need to know so I don't die. What, what, what are you for, hero? I, I kind of wish the player's handbook was on an audiobook. I was the only way so I'd be able to read it. it. I've okay. never, I've never read it all the way through solely for that reason alone. Ooh, that sounds bad it saying it out loud. You caught two fish that amount to one pound between the two of them. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget, I, the the option to always just fry them all is entirely available. Wonder how many hit points a fish has. 
<laughs> probably not well, enough to probably not enough to survive me literally boiling their home. So foraging foraging oh, rules no. kind of don't make sense. It's just a wilderness check or like you know like survival, and then based on the DC for where you are, you find X amount of pounds of food. That doesn't make sense. So I like to break it down by a couple of different rolls so that it adds to the description. So like I've rolled for how many fish and then how many pounds each fish was amounted to. Each fi fish was a pound each? No, um, they amount to a pound together. No, they amounted to a pound. So they were like half a pound each. So they're tiny fish. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's so a I'm shallow stream, like, they're small fish. Hero, Hero would just, like, look at them, and, like, just chunk them backwards to the rest of the party, and try to catch some more fish. All right. And this is where the brewer supplies comes in. I'm going to start catching them and start boiling some water. Works. You could just make a fire and roast them as you're boiling them. No, I want to boil them. Or, why would you want to boil them? Fish, fish solely, doesn't... solely just in case there's anything else on them. So if I'm boiling the water, no, no germs live. Or we could just cook them normally because that would still kill anything that was on them. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, fish, Fine. No fiery like death mass. Five pounds it. of meat total. Ooh. <laughs> We're just gonna have the monk there all night just. <laughs> well, we don't fish. need. <laughs> we don't need a ton of food, though. Well, because if we cook it and salt it properly, like, it will last for a very long time. Uh, but do any of us have salt? I do have salt. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I feel like an herbalism kid would have salt. I don't really? <laughs> It's not tuna, though. It's... Uh, more for us, then. Cave fish, apparently. I don't have... I don't... I don't have a thing set up to randomly choose fish. Sorry. <laughs> but there's a random fish chooser thing on... on the Google. How much salt we using? Well, well there's five pounds of fish, and you would need roughly a pound of salt per pound of fish in order to salt it for preservation purposes. But do you oh. have five pounds of salt? I have so ten far. pounds of salt. Oh my god! And there are four fish left in the water, so we'll see. Let's leave them there so they can continue to reproduce. We don't have to kill them all. As if you're going to be staying here to cultivate the fish that are reproduced? Right. No, that's their job. <laughs> here you go. There's... <laughs> there is Let a me subtract five pounds. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I, I'm also looking at it. What? There is a random fish generator. Yeah, just me. randomly... Does also, I subtracted the five pounds of salt, so you know the salt should be good to go. So I have five pounds That's left. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> These have to be ones that can be in the freshwater though. Yeah. I don't. I think the bream is not a freshwater. <laughs> See you right fish. It's I have one that says spot and it's just a light. <laughs> wow. Random snakes. Generate snakes. What? I mean I have a language generator, one that just generates random uh arcane languages. Like it just translates things into dwarvish or like whatever else it is. Or There's like elvish. It's a generator for almost they're just everything these days. Random cave fish seems like a seems like a a good way to go. There is such thing as a dogfish. 
Yeah. Okay, anyways, random cave fish. Is but that yes, enough fish, or fish, or should I get more? Nah, uh, we're good. Like, I, I don't want to have to give up all of my salt. I don't know what else this is going to come in handy for. What if you run into a slug monster? We need to kill it. Slug monster? Yes, what if we run into a slug beast? There are spiders. That would be problematic, there, there might be I would slugs. say. Then we need to keep the salt handy. <laughs> you ever tried to fight a slug? They're mean. There is a fish called a slug. <laughs> a random cave fish. And it is a fresh water. Okay. So All we've right. eaten cave fish. So how much did we all did we get together? Uh it's five pounds total. And it's five been pounds. it's been preserved, so we have five pounds of fish preserved. He's so cute, look at the little fish. That's that's my that's my favorite obscure fish. They're called box fish. And I was just gonna say that. It looks like a box. They're called box fish and um they're like the size of a chickpea. Like literally they can fit in a teaspoon. Yeah, they're really cute. Okay. Where is it they're so fins? How is it swimming? He has fins. Just teeny tiny. They're a species of puffer fish. Oh, I see it. Oh, so they're probably poisonous. Are, Let's not eat are, those. Are we gonna <laughs> keep trying to like <laughs> keep are we gonna keep going with the game or are we gonna go straight to fish? No, we're gonna keep going. I was just gonna be like, um, so we do this we preserve the fish. Do we wanna take a rest here or do we wanna keep moving? Rest. We need it. You know, in case we come in something. How long have we been moving here? Several hours or something. Several hours, yeah, I think we're getting close to our our limit for today. Yep, and I'm all out of inspiration. So, well, then we can, we can, if everyone else is needing to, we can just take a rest here, because I actually do ha already have like one point of exhaustion. I forgot that until I looked at my sheet just now. Oh. <laughs> because yeah, I had good. a bad dream, okay? Oh, right. Yeah, w those are gonna happen. Those are gonna happen. Yeah. But I do suggest that we take a rest. Um, I don't know if we wanna do shifts. And, or if any, I guess, I don't know what level alarm we is. We can do but. shifts. We we can do shifts because we have two Fey. We don't need as much rest um, as you. I don't I don't no, I am not considered a Fey in that aspect. Uh, I'm only considered a Fey in my background. I'm a fallen arch fey. So you have to even sleep entirely? Yeah. Sucks to be you. Cause I didn't choose like I didn't choose Shatter Guy or something. Like that. Oh, Okay. Fine, I'll take the first shift. Man, your fall from glory is like, hit you hard. Yeah. But yeah, I can take first watch, uh, because I don't need this much sleep. Uh, and who's got second watch? Preferably somebody actually better at perception than me. Um, I'm fucking useless in a dark cave. Oh, right, so. you can't see in the dark. Nah. Uh, who else has dark vision? Gonna have to find Hello? some goggles at night. Don't worry, I'm gonna take those artificial levels and get you some. Take second shift, or not, I don't care. Alright, so we have one for second shift and Okay, let's let's get let, let's get a count. Who all has uh dark vision? Uh I think <laughs> I was gonna say everyone but my uh, even the monk? I think the monk might, depending yep. on the race. Yep, as a Laneshi I have dark vision. 
Oh, so it's just you. You are the only person who does not have dark vision. Well, Do you that's, at least have the light filter? That's okay, because where you are is dimly lit by phosphorescent moss. Oh. That's what and I just went for. And Vi would, have, uh, Vi would have offered to take the, the, the first shift, because uh, Vi doesn't... Vi hasn't spent any spells or abilities. So. Alright, then you have first shift, I'll take second, and then uh, whoever is Next is next. Alright, so I need everybody but Vi to uh, roll a d20, please. Ah, yes. The terror. Oh, that's you. <laughs> 11. I swear if I get it again. If you're gonna go to sleep, I need you to roll. Otherwise, you can keep watch with Vi. All right. Um. So I need uh, Carnelis and Hero to roll again, please. You both got one within the number I was thinking of. Okay, and uh, Hero got closest this time to the number. So the number was 13. Um, so, while you are asleep, uh, your sleep is troubled and fitful, filled with strange dreams and disturbing in images. It contains the following details. Dark shadows seem to move and reach out towards you as you wander, lost through endless mazes and tunnels. In the distance, you can hear cries of torture and agony getting louder and closer the longer and farther you wander. You awake in a cold sweat, frightened, wondering if there's something out there causing these dreams, something far worse than the drow. Wait, they're frightened? Well, not the frightened condition. Oh, okay. Anyway, so, uh, Bashara, you can roll perception to see if you would notice Hero waking up. Nah. No, we'll call that just being tired. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you notice. <laughs> Ooh, I can redeem points now. Oh no. I'm late. assuming that we get long rest. Yes. I was more, fo yeah, I was more focused on them than my surroundings because I was preparing. To give them advantage on any wisdom saves that they may end up having to deal with. Well, um, how how do you choose to wake up, hero, and Vishara? How do you choose to respond? Um. We'll wait for hero's answer, and then. <laughs> Um, I would say he would wake up in kind of like a cold, like a cold sweat. Um, I, I know it says you'll wake in a cold sweat, uh, but as far as he would go, like, that would, yeah, that would literally happen. Like, he would be, like, gasping for air, um, just in this like scared state of mind uh in a in a cold sweat um as um Vi sees this happen uh, they stand up and move to a hero and uh, just say it's 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 all right that was that was just a dream nightmare whatever it was you're, you're safe. Just deep breaths. I am a 
us to slow that heart rate down. Yes, yes. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, that was quite the dream I had. By uh, makes a note in their uh, notebook uh, stating that now that's two people in the last two days that have had nightmares. And then uh, puts the book away and um, says, it's, it's all right, you can, you can go back to bed. Um, I'll wake up somebody else uh, for the shift. Shift is done, they will wake Mix. Uh, no, I think, uh, I said it was Hero that had the dream, wasn't it? Yeah, he Hero, Hero had the dream. So, I think Ethan volunteered for the second. I did volunteer for second shift. And I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> also, Got anything to say, uh, Lyric? Now I'm just trying to w now I'm just trying to decide if I would even try to wake Ethan up or just go straight to someone <laughs> else. <laughs> go ahead and do it. At most, you like uh, but mind you, you know, I chose like the quirk or the flaw that I chose with my character. Uh, I randomly make sounds of music, uh, just out of nowhere. So if you shake me awake, it just sounds like chimes. I will wake Ethan up and then wave at them and then go sit, go lay down and all right. And I'm up and I'm on a uh, watch now. The DM can't. Oh, somebody said that she can't do anything with the talkie talks anymore. Nope. I redeemed uh, an accent. An accent that you can't do. Country accent. Okay, you need to think Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a country accent ain't really that difficult. Um, you're just saying you're southern roots. Yeah. You're from the south, so that makes the sense. Alpine. I live here. I was so. born and, and raised in yeah. Texas, and I can't do a Texas accent. That is great. Then don't then don't channel Texas. Channel their uh channel one of their other cousins that has like less tasteful steak. <laughs> Perfect example, Alabama. Honestly, if you really want to channel Alabama at its like core, you just have to like you have to master saying creek instead of creek. Yep. Because <laughs> I, I have been guilty of saying it before because I did spend a certain amount of my time growing up in Alabama. And uh, there is a yonder creek. Instead of creek, it's yonder creek. Be like, hey, y'all want to go down to the creek? <laughs> you forgot it's yonder creek. <laughs> you have to <laughs> enunciate. It's extra for no fucking reason. <laughs> All right. Basically, you put a lot of emphasis on your vowels, and yep. you got it. It's really exactly. It's not real difficult at all. Yeah, I know, okay. but I know she was going to struggle with it, which is exactly why I asked for it. It was either that or Cajun. I figured country was, by default, going to be a lot she harder than easier. Cajun. I can do it. I Obviously can do I'm a somewhat country, possible Western. French accent, though. So, like... <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm not good with accents. That's why I never do them. I need to remove that as a point reward until I can <laughs> practice. Because <laughs> someone else redeemed um, to talk with a British accent, but uh, 
I'm a chicken shit because in the Friday game, we have actual Brits. <laughs> and I'm not about to do a British accent in front of British people. That's rude. <laughs> what are you talking about? Doing a country doing a country accent in front, like, mimicking a, a southern accent in front of southerners is just as bad. However, but see, I'm the thing is, I'm from the south, though. So, like... <laughs> you don't count. You're from Texas. Well, uh, no, I'm from Nebraska, so maybe I don't get like a say in this. But um, as somebody who's from the Midwest, Texas is part of the South for me. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. we were in the Civil uh -huh. War. Also, uh, we're like getting Oklahoma way off topic. <laughs> Keep fucking forgetting about Oklahoma. I, I barely hear anything about Oklahoma. Oklahoma. You are weak. Vi is going oh, to bed. Oklahoma. All right, Vi is going to bed. So someone else has to wake up. Effin is here. He woke Effin up. Uh, there was a sound of like wind chimes, and now Effin's just sitting there, staring into the darkness, wishing he was hallucinating, but he can't because he has to be uh, conscious right now. And Vi has to roll for nightmares. Oh yes, I need you to roll a d20. Roll for them dream demons. You say hi to them for me. Wait, what are the dream demons in D&D? Yeah, are those a thing? Probably. Dream demons? Probably. Uh, things that affect my- Oh, shit, that's important, actually. I'm glad I remembered that. I was supposed to say, don't you have a feature for that? I am immune to magical spells and effects that require you to dream. Okay. Well, this is kind of just Would a it be magical, dream. or is it just like a case of like- you just had a bad dream and therefore you were tired. Yeah, it's not like a magical influence. It's not like making you do anything. It's PTSD! <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because... <laughs> yeah, because I don't dream. When I sleep, oh, I... Uh, when I sleep, I am actually communicating with the other part of my brain. Oh, so you're talking to yourself, uh -huh. basically. The last are sleep, but they do not connect to the plane of dreams as other creatures do. Instead, their minds draw from the memories. Oh, uh, well, if, if you never even go to the plane of dreams, then technically in the D&D universe you can't dream, so... <laughs> rip. Shit. That's so all about then. You're, right just rip. <laughs> you're just talking to your memories when you're sleeping? Yeah. Does that just mean you have a very, very good memory? Because you can, oh, like, literally no. never forget so anything? I, so the memories aren't, aren't from actually my memories. They're from... Kla Kalashtar are connected to a spirit. We have homebrewed this spirit as being my past self. Part of me, when I switched to the new body, got left behind in spirit form. I am communicating with my fey self when I go to bed. But I am slowly unlocking memories. The same way. That oh, that's cool. The same way that I elves like make... meditate instead of sleeping. This is just an inward meditation, basically. The way I'm envisioning it is I'm hearing the monster song that I'm friends with the monsters inside of my head because he's literally just talking to another part of himself inside of his head instead <laughs> of sleeping. Uh, whatever works for you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Dude, I'm assuming everything passes pretty well for the second half of the night as well. Yeah. Yep, okay. so far it's just the one be a dream. Sorry, old man. Okay, so I assume we all wake up. <laughs> right, we're used to this. Now what? You Nine have an years. option to follow or cross the river or ask your guide turn to our our drow guide because again I forget his name. So Reese. Off to him. Yep. Him. So you could just okay. we could just call him sorry. I mean it's not like he can do anything about it if you give him a nickname. I mean yeah but I could just always just look it up too. <laughs> Sarah. Yep, I just call him Sarah. Sarah. Sari. 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 Siri, Siri, hey Siri, give us direction. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, Siri, stop! <laughs> I'm like, ah. All right, Siri, 
I'm gonna call him Siri from now on. Anyway. I really want to. I really want to sing a magic. Uh, I want to sing an item into existence. Like I want to sing a compass into existence, and I want to call it Siri. Wait, do compasses work in the uh, in the underdark or no? Yeah, that's a good question. They probably would work in some places and not in others, given the geography and the specifics of certain areas. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds crystal. So it's sticky and unstable uh, right under a compass. I love it. Yay. So, so Yay. I mean, you're on the right track there, but you'd have no way of knowing if it was working or not. You know what I mean? Ah, yes. Yes. You'd only know whenever it's definitely not working because, you know, magnetic fields would make the needle spin. Uh, but there are other circumstances that would totally fuck with a compass that would not be so visible. That's very problematic. Spoilery things that I can't get into right now. Anyways, Got I'm going to turn to Siri and be like, so, which way do we go from here? Knowing my companions, they've probably sent someone after us. It would be in our best interest to put as much distance between us and them as we can. So regardless which way we go, I suggest we cross this water. Free has spoken. Let's cross the water. I guess we're crossing the water. Alright, so, um, on the other side of the water, he continues to lead the way. It's very narrow, um, sort of like rocky tunnel. Not too narrow, but narrower than the one that had the stream in it. I'm sorry, Siri said that I was making you drink water. <laughs> you guys really enjoy giving me brain freeze. Ooh, we just we did just wake up, so I'm going to uh, adjust my adjust my prepared spells. Okay, no problem. Um, yeah. So small complaint. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to refill my 150 ounce cup in a minute <laughs> that I refilled before the game. <laughs> Are you having to just relieve your, yourself? Um, Keurig, I do not pronounce his name correctly on purpose. Keurig jumped into. Uh, I run a game server for a different game. He jumped into that server and had everybody remind me to hydrate. Oh no. <laughs> 90 person discord. <laughs> anyway, um... So, uh... Basically, um, Sarith was leading the way, and he was leading the way into, um, the direction you guys were supposed to go. And I just described the tunnel as being narrower than the one that you were in, but not so narrow that, like, it feels cramped. Just visually and literally slightly narrower. Single, like, single file narrow? No, like, you could march two by two and still have enough room to, like, reach out your arms, but it was narrower than the tunnel that you were in previously. As okay. Speaking of, you guys should probably establish some sort of marching order. There are quite a lot of you. Well, that's true. I don't care where I'm placed. I could be like somewhere in the middle, I guess. That way, if anything happens and I need to heal anyone, I am in within distance to all of them. Alright. Well, so 
Okay, Effin is gone. Yeah, he sent me a DM. He said he had to go to bed because he has to get up at 5 a.m. Okay. I don't know why he didn't announce that, but he had to go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, marching order, I guess. I don't know. Sarith should Obviously, be. Obviously, Siri's gonna be up front. Right, because so. he's leading. I guess I can be behind him or somewhere in the middle. I think we can go two by two, is what she said, so. Honestly, it'd probably be be best to go like Siri and Vi since they've they've talked a bit uh, Ooh, yeah. I don't know I guess I can be behind them And Harney, and then uh, other guys that are following us. Alright. Put all if the NPCs towards the back except for Siri. <laughs> if that's how you guys want to go. <laughs> and Stool, since you're heading to Stool's home. Yeah, and Stool. I guess that's the way we're going, so um, I am going to turn to, like, I am going to ask Siri, the, um, so how long is this going to take us to get there exactly? Over a month. Ah. I guess you can't take shortcuts in the Underdark. Not exactly. You can move faster, you can move slower. No way to cut down that time? Is there any, like, towns between here and there? Do you want to stop at a town between here and there? Is it safe to stop at a town between here and there? It's a waste of time, if you ask me. Why is that? Well, like I said, they probably sent people after us. The more time oh. we dawdle, the m more likely we are to get captured again. And I don't really want to find out how they plan on punishing us for escaping. You make a point. Fair point. I don't suppose. <laughs> a month seems a long way to just keep going. Well, it's that or be captured. You don't Did know how. Us for a month? Oh yes. Okay. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been to a Drow city? Nope. There aren't things like music and entertainment where you are. Down here. Wasn't looking for entertainment, just... A month is a long time to go without resupplying. Well, I think you misunderstand. I'm not saying that you're looking for entertainment, I'm saying you are the entertainment. See, you 
you say that? And since I myself am actually an enter entertainer, I'm thinking one thing, but the way you're saying it, I'm thinking you mean something completely different. I'm helping you out of my own best interest, but if the tables were turned, the situation would be very different. What kind of entertainment would 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 we be a part of? Do you really not know? Oh, most likely. I, 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 curiosity will always get the best of me, so yes. Before he answers that, what was that, Vashar? Gladiatorial, I'm assuming. You guys are a bunch of savages. Gladiatorial, you said? Yes. Just making sure I heard you right. Uh, he shakes his head. No. Not, um, not quite. That's the least of the things you should worry about. I personally have poisoned people and kept them alive for months while they just slowly waste away into nothingness. Skinning them alive, making them do mundane tasks, tying them above a pit of acid and watching their skin bubble away, feeding them to spiders, making spiders do tricks in order to chop off pieces of their bodies and catch them like dog treats. And even these are mundane compared to the things that we can do to you. Trust me, you do not want to get caught, and neither do I. We keep moving. Never. If that is a gift of what makes you think I'm not into that, so... Okay. <laughs> I hadn't looked yet. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're not nice. <laughs> I feel like you just character. make people here. dance to death. But uh, out of character here, I feel like D and D, like modern D and D, has gotten away from making races inherently evil. So, <laughs> well, yeah, but so society in general has always been going about that. They're, oh no, I know. They are they are very dark, and this was written in 2014. I know that they took away a lot of the sexism about like the matriarchal society and stuff. I don't I don't know about taking away their like cruelty though, because like. They take away alignment. Like that was that's good. That's like n there are n there's not a single race that's like. Lawful evil, evil or yeah. Or I don't like inherently personally. evil or inherently good. It's just depending on the society and things like that. But yes, the cities down here are not friendly to outsiders. Overworlders. Yeah. I mean, they captured you guys to sell you into slavery and were prepared to kill you in between. Like, yeah, no, I got it. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're not very nice. Oh, um also V thinks that most mortals are savages because they don't know much about them. Well that's okay. Elda the thinks that lives. everybody that lives down here or anybody that speaks common is uh <laughs> is um a dark dwelling degenerate, I think is what she calls them. Oh, oh, the 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 dwarf lady. Yeah, Elda. Yes. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know. After that whole conversation, um, Nick would be like, right. So we keep moving. Uh, sort of. She doesn't trust Siri as much anymore. I mean, rightfully so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Vi doesn't trust anyone inherently. You 
using scenery to get us where we need to go. A month of, I guess we're gonna keep moving. Um, during the the travel, um, Vi would like uh, to uh, look for more mushrooms and things like that. This, by the way, oh. that, by the way, is the image of um, what you guys are headed towards. This is Neverlight Grove. But yes, um, during our travels, Vi would be looking for mushrooms, things of that nature, in order to find food, uh, more food that we can set aside, and things of so we can slowly, over the next ten days, try to get enough food to last us another ten days, so we can then continue to at get more food for the next ten days. Yeah. Yeah. Before we run out of food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, it's going to be arduous, guys. Uh, anyway, I need... Um, a foraging check from you. You need a what? A foraging check from you. Survival? Um, yes. D4... I still didn't fix it. So, we're gonna say you see 1d10 water orbs. Okay. Alright. It's a type of fungus. I'll tell you what they are in just a second. I have too many tabs open. <laughs> So basically, Ooh, that's useful. How m so is it, so it casts the create water spell? It's it's kind of like a little portable version of it. Yeah, I mean, it's not. This is the creature version of it, not the fungus version of it, but they're basically the same thing. Um, it's just that one is alive and one is not. Uh, so either way, it's an orb full of water, and it is enough water to sustain yourself for one whole day. Oh. So I give one to the main party, so one, two, three, four of you guys, plus of course a five, and then three, two, one, two, Siri, one, two, The hippie, and another one uh, <laughs> to. I don't know if I don't use. I don't know if stool needs water. No, stool doesn't need water. Okay, then I will give it to one of the other singletons. I don't know if they need that, but. Uh, well, there's the twins who can share one. Stool doesn't need one, so oh, the that twins can share one because they're small. Right, Turn and then yeah, stool. I'll give them to the twins. Stool doesn't need one, and then. Uh, there's Sarith, Shushar, um, Eldith, uh, Prince yep. Darendil, um, Bufido. Yeah. So it's, it's still Jindra and... Ront. Yeah. We 
yeah. their recipe pieces. <laughs> They're actually probably hollow tusks at the moment. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, to the twins. Because if I can kill two birds with one stone, I'm happy. <laughs> or, you know, water two birds with one mushroom. It'd be funny if they were killing two siblings. <laughs> As you're walking, I grab one and hand it to the next person, and grab one and hand it to the next person. As you're telling me, is the next person going to ask you how it's going? I'm, I am going to turn to Hero and be like, how are you doing, old man? Uh, how are you? I'm just wondering, because this is a lot of walking. Hoping Big you're, step. You're doing good. Ah, ah, yes, yes. I have walked... Many miles in my time. But you're old now, no offense. Uh, resting apparently is not something we can do often, so I'm just making sure that you're doing fine. I am. I, I appreciate your concern. Uh, I have I have walked many, many miles in my life. And even as I grow older, the miles keep getting longer. If you ever do need a rest, I'm sure we can afford a short one here and there if we absolutely need to. Yes, yes, I, I do appreciate that. You are, you are a mighty fine person. Oh, well, I try to be. Well, mostly. I mean, as much as one can be. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> you and your moral. No, 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 no. So, for the purpose of speeding a few things up, uh, I am going to say that you guys have traveled for four days, and uh, you came across nothing in that time. And now you come across nothing. So, keep talking. <laughs> still we come across nothing? Yep, and still you come across nothing. I will be right back. So the spells, the spells that um, Vi is carrying around uh, at the moment, it, since we haven't run anything else, is Shield of Faith, Silent Image, Protection from Evil and Good, Inflict Wounds, Fairy Fire, and Cure and what was the last one? Cure wounds. No, okay. Cure wounds, yeah. fairy fire, inflict wounds, protection from evil and good, shield of faith, silent image, and then three cantrips are guide and sacred flame and silent flame. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, spells, not cantrips, I have urbane, cure wounds, healing word, and hideous laughter. So. I have two, I have two that are always prepared, which are protection from evil and good, Silent image. No, fairy fire is silent image. Wow. Really? Hmm. Okay. Good job. While she is cleaning her up, I love Cthulhu, uh, 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 
emotes so much. Uh, anyways, while she's cleaning up, I'm actually gonna go to the restroom real quick, so I'll be right back. Certainly. I love how we're just two, we're just two old beings going on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> right? One that is an old being in a young being's body, and one that is an old being in an old being's body. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hopefully I'm going to be able to uh build this particular character uh to be just like Master Roshi. Um I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly. Is that DBZ? It is. Okay. I don't never watched it. I know there's a lot of old monk like characters, <laughs> so like um, the captain of uh, the captain of Squad One from Bleach, mm -hmm. yeah, or the cat, the head captain of like the entire. Yeah. Uh, Gin, or uh, yeah. Not. Or, I don't uh, think it's Gin, or yeah. It's like. Um, with the fire sword. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've watched Bleach too, so I'd... I am ready for his, October to fucking get here. His name is on the tip of my tongue. Yamamoto. Yeah, Yamamoto. I knew it was... I knew it was something. Genrisai... Uh, Genrisai... Shigekuni Yamamoto. He is the captain commander of the Gotai 13. Mm -hmm. He is 2100 years old. He's how old? 2100 plus. Oh, wow. He's a soul. Well, yeah. But also... Yeah, he's ca he's captain of the first of first division, captain commander, Serete Soul Society. He's just part of a Soul Zero Sus Sus Sakibu Sus Kibu. Oh yeah. Okay, I have returned. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome. Yeah. What was the story we had? Zampakto. Rujin Jaka. Yeah. Rujin Jaka. That's the same person I was. Yeah. After Yamamoto's death, the shattered and scorched Ryu. Ryuji Jaka was returned to the barracks. I can't believe he is 2100 years old. So. He is the definition of a muscle wizard. Why is it always the old men that are, like, fucking ridiculous? <laughs> no, we're not. Lyric just had to clean up after her dog because Dylan drew his water bowl. I'm excited for October. I want to see the last, the last arc animated. Ichigo looks so good already. I know. I need to. I need to finish it. It's just, I've gotten behind. So much. Yeah. It's it's, it's so, so much, much, and I've gotten. I watched it three times. It's so much. 
No, no. Because then, I mean, I you also that. you also have to like decide whether you want to count the movies or not that they did the animated movies. Uh, the animated movies are not canon. None of them, not a single one of them are canon. The Bleach movies. Um. Yeah, I skipped all those because I the second time the third time I watched it, same with all of the filler the the two fi the two filler arcs that they have. Zanpakuto coming to life, and then I think there's one more. The Bound Arc. Yeah. Yeah. Like, half the it. series is nothing but filler episodes. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I absolutely... I hated Welcome the Bound back. Arc. We had the wood floors. I have to clean that up. <laughs> so, I say that I would say the Bound Arc did give glasses a fucking personality. <laughs> but yeah. uh, you do I don't know Uru yeah Uru you are why you mm -hmm. okay anyways so four days pass and nothing still nothing happens well your companion says he wants you to fight spiders he redeems we can channel fight points spiders. for spooters we can spiders. do a spooter! Let's fuck up some spiders. Okay. Just not mine. Not yours. <laughs> then keep your spider out of my fairy fire. He will be in my pocket. <laughs> Have you read what fairy fighter d fire does? All it does is illuminate well, no, things. I know what it does, but yeah. it needs advantage on it. Oh, yeah. So we have one spooter? Is that what one spooter. One giant yep. spooter. Giant scooter. Alright. Mmm. Boss battle. <laughs> <laughs> Let the boss battle music begin. <laughs> One Rip giant spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if you want to describe us doing the thing. Um. Yeah. So, Shushar. Uh catches Tariq's attention and tells him that he can sense something nearby. So Shushar um, takes the front to help avoid it. Uh, I need you guys to either roll stealth or initiative depending on whether or not you want to try and surprise attack it. Surprise attack! Surprise attack! Yep, me too. I got a 17. Nice. Or stealth. I got a. <laughs> you got a what? Didn't mean to roll two. I uh, thought you were but, wearing disadvantaged uh, armor, though. I am. Oh, so you didn't four mean to roll plus. Two. No, I meant I didn't mean to roll two before. I meant to just roll one. Oh, uh, the bot just didn't four catch four him. Plus I two. see. Four plus two, so six. So it's six either way. <laughs> You I got an 11. On, uh, on D and D Beyond, if you're playing on the computer, is that what you're playing it on? Yeah. Okay. If you right-click what you're trying to roll, you can roll with disadvantage. I did. That's why there's two rolls. Okay. I just didn't understand why you're rolling with a two before, so. Oh, I, I accidentally. So I went over to the, the the dice roller and I accidentally clicked two before fight. Why do you? Okay. Because guidance, I, you can't roll like guidance is kind of a thing. Okay, alright. Alright, I was just, well, I didn't know what you were doing, so I was confused, is all. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so currently, so uh, Cornelis and Nyx are the only ones who passed their <laughs> stealth checks. <laughs> um, I think there's only four of us playing right now, so. Yeah, so two of the four. Okay, so two of us are stealthy, the other two are just out there for baiting. Apparently. <laughs> I might I might just go full melee. Right. Get some cushion just looking real delicious. I think I'm, yeah, I kinda wanna include uh, keep my spell slots for here when I have to. Yeah. I can't do jack at level one. 
hit me with an unarmed strike. <laughs> yeah, monks are not that great at level one. I have lost a few. Monks aren't even great to like level one. <laughs> All right, so two of us are stealth. Spider roll pretty high for its finish. So, you two are stealthed. You can try and attack it if you want. I do want to try to attack it with my daggers. I don't know how to roll with with, with, with stealth though, because I've never played rogue. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, after you attempt to attack it, whether you hit it or not, you're revealed. So right. since you're getting the surprise attack, you get advantage. All right. So I should just roll twice for each yeah. dagger. Or just what first should attack I... would have advantage, second attack would have disadvantage. I forgot that I could just you hit the thing. Reveal yourself. Yeah, I'll just roll two. Um, does a 21 hit it? <laughs> a, a <laughs> both of those hit, actually, so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the damage from that then, which is just 1d4 plus 2. So, 6 damage, and then of course I have my second dagger. Um, which I'm, I'm assuming a 1 does not, or sorry, a 10 does not hit? No, does not. Okay. I don't know, I guess I'll stay here because if I try to back up, they can like... That's my turn! Alright. Now, Carnelis well. is uh, also stealthed. You want to attack the spider? Okay. Do you have any? Do you have any uh, like melee weapons? You can always just a melee attack it. You have poison spray, frostbite. You have two daggers. <coughs> you can headbutt it. So one of those hits and does six damage. The other one misses. So that's good. We're twelve health health points down so far. <laughs> Alright, so Bashara and Hero, do you also want to attack the spooter? Uh, I will. Okay. So at this point, I need everybody to roll initiative because the spider was already taken by surprise. I rolled a 20. Oh, you actually rolled the head of the spider. Nice. I did. <laughs> I get to attack it again. I rolled a head of the spider too. But Nyx goes first because she has a higher modifier. Alright, and so it's Nyx, Bashara, Spider, and Hero, and Carnelis have to roll again because they both have the same modifier and got the same roll. <laughs> yep. Good. We go. That's much better. <laughs> So yeah. 
gets the spider to a So, should I start? Yes, please. I'm sorry, what was that? I was said that yes, please. please. I said either that was a please or that was a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I, at this point, I still just do more damage with my daggers if I can hit. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna go after it with my daggers again. Alright. Um, and I'm assuming that an 8 does not hit, so I'll just go ahead and do the second one here. Oh, with a 12? Does a 12 hit? Nope. 12 no. does not hit. Yep. Okay, that was my turn. Vi's gonna walk up to his spear and just kind of take it and just... Oh no. <laughs> that was a crit. Oh wow. <laughs> All right. 35 Wait. damage. Yeah, um oh. so the question is, do you want the spider to die or do you want me to beef up the spider so that at least everybody gets a hit? <laughs> Everybody you inflicted get wounds, though, all right. <laughs> but, okay. Well. <laughs> okay, I'm only asking, because these things only have 36 health. So... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well. You did 35. Oh, but you did Right, but we did 12. Yeah, we did 12 damage before. <laughs> so... I said uh, so. You know, I already hit it, so I'm going to leave it up to the people who have not hit it yet. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, I always just do max health on my teammates for that yeah. exact reason. <laughs> I'd, I'd say, you know, just beef them up a little bit. It's like, uh, I, th I think I'm barely going to hit it. Rolls nat 20. <laughs> 60, 10 damage. I killed it without the crit. <laughs> we, well, if hero wants to hit it, we can let hero hit it. Yeah. I can always just like go up to it thinking it's not dead and has like it already be dead and in my head it's not, so I'll like go to punch it. <laughs> Is it gonna be senile? Is your monk senile? Um too wise to be senile. Yeah, I was gonna say he's he's a bit too wise to be senile. For for what I'm going for, he'd be he'd be too wise to be senile. Surprise the guy whose best friend is a spider is fighting a spider. Yep. You know, I tried to get you to give me a turtle, but you know, I was okay. <laughs> I let the dice make that roll. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, at least you got a pet. Other people got nothing. I think yeah. Izumi's yeah. the only one who actually got anything out of that roll. <laughs> I got rope. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not even a lot of rope, just like five feet of it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like the first die because I know what that comp Me personally, I know what that company is. And I'm terrified. <laughs> uh, I would just move. Well, actually, uh, I don't know. Would a spider have anything on it? A spider? Um, way out uh, in the wild. Venom 
the, 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 the poison venom effects. That's true. Uh huh. Yep. Nyx is gonna go ahead and try to dissect this. To fighting. get some of that so that I can use it with my herbalism tool to make any costume. Okay. Yeah. Which is usually Looking at my crossbow and thinking, hmm, I can poison my <laughs> my bullets. Hmm. Yes, the Midwestern is coming out where I didn't say anti toxin, I said anti toxin. Anti toxin. Anti toxin. <laughs> now I have an idea for another character. Now she can use it. Okay. So, anyways, Lyric, we would like to dissect the spider for its venom sack. Yeah, sure. Uh, I need a sleight of hand to um, cut them without destroying them. Four with that. I get a D four with that. Yeah, you should always. Any skill check we make, you <laughs> guidance. Okay. How about how about how about a twelve? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so for 12, you get 3 out of 4. That's pretty good. Wonderful. I'm, I'm, I, I so am going to have... each one of those 3 make a antitoxin, or do I need all 3 of them to make a Do you already know how to make antitoxin? Yes, I do. I am proficient in herbalism kit. Then yeah, it's one to one. Yes. So if you wanted to take one, Nyx, for poison stuff. Yeah, I do want to take one for poison stuff. <laughs> You're gonna multiclass into assassin. I should have <laughs> made a freaking bro. <laughs> assassin rogue bard. <laughs> <laughs> you sneak up on them, stab them in the back, and then just sing to them. <laughs> nope. No magical item. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's dead. I suppose we should continue. Glad none of us got hurt. I hope we didn't traumatize your spider friend. <laughs> no, no. He was in my pocket. Flick of the thing. Just, just walks up. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so after that, um, you guys uh, traveled oh, no. for four more days. <laughs> and... Touch my pocket, you're going to get bitch slapped. You come across a giant roctopus. That sounds. What's God. a roctopus? Roctopus. It is. Is it kind of like the octo rock things from Legend of Zelda? <laughs> 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 I guess they're similar. Yeah. Listen, I typed in roctopus and I got 3D printed pictures of the, ro the rock's face with eight tentacle legs coming off of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a thing. I love you put D and D in here. <laughs> so it's basically just an octopus with rocks on its head. Um Yes. Okay. My entire Discord just decided to like refresh itself for whatever reason. So that's a thing. I'm sorry, this is a pretty much Rock Lobster. Yeah, so anyway, um, it's just a tentacle monster that can blend in with rocks, basically. Okay. Oh, well. It's like a, a land dwelling rock with legs. Land dwelling rock with tentacle legs. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> okay. 
okay. <sighs> so, I'm assuming that she sure is like, oh, more monsters. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he can sense them within 30 feet, so. So, yes. So, <laughs> Shushar um, lets you guys know that there is something up ahead and that you should be cautious. I'm gonna roll stealth too. That I got a 13. And there is surprisingly no stat sheet for this thing. That's what I was looking for, but I could not find it for whatever reason. I like how its token is literally just an octopus. Alright, so. Now I have everything I need in order to do this. So, uh, Nyx, you did not pass your stealth check. Okay. So, the Bashara, I'm assuming, did go. Yes, I just scrolled up to look at those. Bashara and Hero did. Carnellis, do you want to roll stealth? I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. That was the wrong sheet. <laughs> um, so here you guys have an option. Um, you don't actually have to fight it because, oh, nice, that's a good stealth. Um, you don't actually have to fight it because this guy will be stealthed himself because they have advantage on stealth checks. So, I mean, technically, you guys can't even see it. You just know that Shushar knows it's there. Okay. So it's up to you if you want combat or not. Um, yeah. Do we want to fight it? Always down to fight things, but if nobody else wants to, we can just try to stealth by or walk by it. And everyone passed their stealth checks, except you. Yeah. One punch man it again. <laughs> Well, I mean, you are in the darkest place in the world, so, I mean, there are plenty of things that you can stealth 
behind in here, including the actual darkness, so. So what's the verdict, guys? Uh, we, yeah, we can just keep going. Alright. <laughs> um. Alright, so... Uh, you guys keep traveling for a while, and uh, you come across a muck pit. A muck pit. A muck pit. Is said muck pit in our way, or is it just like off to the side of our path as we walk by it? Um. You must wade through a broad, three-foot-deep pit of slimy muck. The muck is difficult to rain, and characters have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws while within it, and their travel pace for a day is slowed by half if they go around it. I don't think so, but I don't know how tall the the little twin things are. Um, what is the average heart height? Oh, average heart, <laughs> average height of a great dwarf. Of what? Of of what they are? Uh, three foot eleven, so up to their so, neck, yeah, basically. Jim Jar died, right? Yes. Okay. I keep confusing him and Boopido for whatever reason. So Boopido, um, Topsy Turvy, and Stool will all have to be piggybacked. How tall is Stool? Like two and a half foot. So I will just carry Stool. <laughs> First, random creature. <laughs> I'm sure creature. that random sentient mushroom creature would be happy that I picked them up so that they could keep going with us. Have you seen Stool? He's not as cute as he sounds. No, no, I've seen Stool. He's still cute. I don't, I don't know. I don't find that as cute as he sounds. Thank you. <laughs> Can you cry best? Yes, obviously, but also, I'd rather not have spores all over me because of said dream from first night. So, I will. Pick but that's the only way he knows how to talk. I know. <laughs> um, Vi will walk up to Stool and say, I'm, "I'm gonna have to pick you up. You're not gonna be able to walk through here. Is that okay?" He's just gonna kind of hop. Okay, well, in that case, Nick is just gonna be like, um, if anyone else who needs a piggyback ride, the twins, I will be more than happy to give one of you <laughs> a ride. <laughs> I'm sure our not so evil monk over here can do it. The other one. Yes, yes. I will carry one of them. There's four, right? So one other person. Yeah, because there's the two twins, so that's two. 
stool and burpedo. We have another. Oh, uh, can uh, what's his face Prince Arendelle pick up burpedo? Yes, or for that matter, someone else can piggyback burpedo, and he can carry both of the twins. He's big enough. Oh. Okay. Well, I can do burpedo. All right. Cool. So, um, so you guys are gonna go through the muck, right? So you get disadvantage on dex checks, but I need dex checks from all of you. That's gonna hurt. Uh, uh, eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Yeah, so Eldith fails, which is, you know, expected. She's a dwarf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Yeah, so... Got an 11, an 11... I should roll twice for them, but I'm not going to because the only one who fails is Eldith. So, yeah, just Eldith failed. So she's starting to like kind of lag behind the group. Hmm. <laughs> Considering that you don't like her, that's probably satisfying for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um, after several minutes, you guys are able to wade your way through it, and, uh, you make it safely to the other side, although everyone is covered in muck. Um, so, Sarith suggests that you guys either wait for the mud to dry, or, um, you keep moving and hope that you find a source of water so that you can then cover your tracks because you've basically um, just become walking beacons. Right. Um, is there any way to gauge how far behind us these people would be? Yes, there is, actually. It's it's kind of meta-knowledge, but there is a way to gauge how far behind they, <laughs> they are from you. <laughs> so whenever you leave the city your pursuit score is four and depending on certain factors throughout the journey to wherever you guys decide to go uh, the pursuit level goes up or down right now you guys are pretty steadily at four you've stayed ahead of them um, if it reaches five they find you and if it reaches zero you evade them completely oh so that works okay so they're so they're pretty close behind them. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I forgot. Sorry, you guys are not at four right now. You guys crossed the water, which gave you an extra point, so you guys are at three. Okay. I know that's meta knowledge. Um, however, logically, it would be better to stop. I think. I mean, because if we keep going, then they're gonna know where we are easily. Yeah, because, like, I mean, honestly, like, honestly speaking, like, mud probably isn't going to slow you down, but, like, you can just, like, crack it off or whatever once it's dry. But leaving tracks mm -hmm. that are, like, that obvious will only make it that much easier to catch up to you. You know yeah, what I mean? 
yeah, that's why I'm like, well, I'm I'm sure if we kept going while we were covered in mud, we'd actually gain a point, right? So, <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if you know this. This is more meta knowledge, but Cerise would know this. Um, Dro have lizards that can climb walls. So, <laughs> climb. They they can climb walls and like upside down and shit. So, like, there's not much keeping them from finding you. It's literally just if you keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but that move, that 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 thing is called spider dodge, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I use it a lot on all of my characters. Um. <laughs> Wait, well, yeah. No, Nix is like, well, maybe it would be better if we just we stop and let this dry. Um, I I don't know how long that would take. But, but again, I mean, this is a group effort, effort, so. It's where everyone speaks up and decides what they want to do. Um, I'm the DM. I don't have a vote. How... <laughs> Hi. How long do you think it would take for us to, like, start a fire, dry off our boots, just enough to flake off all the mud, and then continue on, so we don't waste too much time, but we do waste just a little to then get rid of the possibility of being tracked via mud. Fire would probably. Fire would probably significantly speed up the process. Besides, I'm sure the little ones probably need food. Yes. He thinks of them um, as, like, children, and, like, with disdain, because they're so small. Big bad drought over here. <laughs> Did she say that in character? Yes. Darn she's no. decided that she's not a very big fan of Siri. He's just gonna kind of roll his eyes. Look, I never said I was a good guy, alright? I'm helping you out of my best interest. I could have easily left you in the dust. We don't have any other guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we need to stop for a second, get as much of this mud off of us as we can, um, and then get the food and the people who need to eat um, good to later. Um, Fine. I mean, yeah, I agree that we should stop, but not for too long. Agreed. Speaking of stopping, this seems like a really good place to end the session for the night. It is getting fairly late. This seems like a nice place to stop. After 13 days of travel. Yeah. Ooh. And then hopefully by the end of next session, we'll have at least reached the city at the pace that we're going at, where there's like roughly some narration, roleplay, and encounters in between, and then we skip a few days, and then yada yada. Montages. Cue cameras overlooking hobbits wandering through New Zealand. <laughs> Habits through New Zealand, yes. Alright, so this is actually, yeah, no, I agree, this is a good spot to stop. Um, I was getting kind of sleepy because I didn't get a lot of sleep that night. But, 